Sure. RAIN32 is a small molecule oral pill, which is an, an inhibitor of MDM2. Now, MDM2, uh, without risking getting too far into the weeds of, of tumor biology, MDM2 is very closely related to another target called P53. And P53 is really the one we want to focus here. Uh, P53 is a transcription factor. So it, it effectively turns on various genes to tell the cell to stop growing or to induce self-death um, in, when it detects something's wrong. So P53 is, the good, is good. We want to have a lot of normal P53 hanging around. It is a signal in the cell that something's going wrong. And it's been named the guardian of the genome as a result of that. So P53, we all want to have a lot of P53 hanging around. Cancers typically find a way to circumvent this, and they got to get rid of P53 in order to grow in an uncontrolled fashion. And so cancer cells typically have a couple of ways of doing this. One, they can take that, T, that P53 transcription factor and it can mutate. It can mutate to the point where it can no longer bind to DNA and, and induce cell cycle control or cell death. So that's one way in tumors you see a lot of mention of P53 mutations. When P53 is inactivated because it is mutated, cancer can arise. All right, so that's one way that cancers can get rid of P53. The other ways it can get rid of P53 is by increasing MDM2. MDM2 acts as a natural regulator of P53. It actually marks P53 for degradation. So when you have a lot of MDM2, it degrades, it leads to the degradation of P53. It binds P53 and prevents P53 from binding DNA. So the other way the cancer can stop P53 is just increase MDM2. So for those cancers where P53 is not mutated and it's being led by, it could be influenced by MDM2, we can have an impact on those cancers. Approximately 50% of all cancers uh, have mutated P53. The other 50% don't. So in those other P53 scenarios where there is no mutations, we think MDM2 inhibition can play a meaningful role as a therapy.